Hey folks, it's Philip Lomboy. Um, I'm about to do a voiceover recording. It's pretty late night here um, where I am, but um, I have to do this voiceover recording for a marketing promotion that I'm rolling out in the next week or so. And something came up for me technically in terms of actually doing the, uh, the recording, and I wanted to share a quick tip with you. Now, when you are recording, whether it's audio or video, if you talk to any sound or video engineer, they're going to tell you that it's so much easier when you record the highest quality, in this case audio, that you can right from the get-go. So whatever goes into the microphone is the highest quality and then you'll have a lot less to clean up later on. I mean, I don't care how much um, you're spending on your um, audio equipment and the software to clean it up later on. I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, the saying is like when you put lipstick on a pig, well, it's still a pig. And, you know, you want to make sure that, it, you know, what's going into the recording device is as clean as possible and pretty as possible so that you avoid any issues later on. Now, if you see my setup over here, and I'm just going to tilt the camera down, I've got my microphone on my keyboard, um, my keyboard uh, uh, pad here, my slider, so that I can just speak directly into the mic. Um, by the way, this microphone that I'm using is what they call a uh, blue, the brand is blue, it's a blue snowball. And this microphone is uh, just hooked up directly to my computer, it's a USB mic. But it's also what they call a condenser mic, and what that means is that it has a larger, what they call capsule inside, so that it's able to capture a broader range of sound when you actually record versus here's my headphones, um, my Logitech headphones. And this is, these are great by the way, but this particular microphone, um, the capsule in there is so tiny that it only can only capture a smaller range of sound. So it's just not gonna sound as good. It's gonna sound a bit more tinny, etc. So that's why I choose to use this. Um, anyway, it's a blue microphone. It's called, you know, again, the type of uh, microphone it is is a condenser mic. So you might wanna look into that if you're actually gonna be doing um, voiceovers uh, for yourself for your clients and definitely if it's something that you want to have a, uh, a good quality recording uh, for a product. Um, I will say however that if you are on a budget it is by no means something that is required or mandatory. I mean any action is better than none so better to put something out that sounds horrible <laughs> Uh, but uh, then, then having to wait months or years for you to put something out um, just to, to get that, that kind of perfection going. So anyway, so the, you can see my setup right here where I have the microphone directly in front of me. The challenge with this type of uh, setup though is that my breath is actually going directly into the mic. And when I make um, sounds like when I make a P sound or a B like or b th that that type of sound coming out of my mouth produces this air current that goes right into the microphone and it makes sound very 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 distor distorted so what you want to um, use to remedy that is what they call a pop filter which essentially is a shield that goes between you, uh, the uh, the talents um, mic, I mean, uh, mouth and, and the mic so that it captures, I mean, it stops all of that air from coming into the, uh, the, the microphone. Now, I didn't get a pop filter for this. Incidentally, uh, if you see people on YouTube or in, in the uh, recording studio on music videos or such, that little screen that they have in front of them, um, that's, that's the pop filter. So you can get some really nice fancy ones that actually are, are made for that purpose. But I don't have one, and if you don't have one and you need something in a pinch or you just don't want to spend the money on getting a pop filter, you can actually create one yourself. Now, what I have here is a wire, um, just a regular wire hanger, okay, that I've uh, reshaped into this, this kind of circle here, and I borrowed um, a, a set of old pantyhose from my wife. And this is going to be my makeshift pop filter. So all I got to do is put this over, you know, just, just slide the pantyhose right over the wire hanger here 
and now just put it right in front of the microphone between uh, my mouth and the microphone and then I can just go as, as normal. Now I'm going to record and uh, show you on the screen here the difference in terms of the quality of having a pop filter and not having one and show you that it really does make a difference and again definitely better for you to put out some sort of a product to to um, get things going for you and your business than to not do anything at all but th if this little thing uh, you know is, is kind of I'm kind of a stickler for it and it just makes it so that there's fewer distractions for you know the people that are going to be listening to the end product and so you know might as well use it if you can okay so what I'm gonna do is do a series of uh, four P sounds um, into the microphone without the pop filter, followed by me holding the pop filter up in between the, um, my mouth and the mic, and then do it one more time, um, you know, for with, without, for with, and then I'll show you on the on the uh, screen what it looks like graphically and also how how it looks uh, how how it sounds um, 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 to to your ear. God, it it really is late. I, I might. <laughs> I actually might have to wait till tomorrow to do this because my energy is very very low. Anyway, um, but I want I want to get this out to you. So uh, let me let me show this to you. Okay, so I'm going to start recording here. So for without for with for without for with. Okay. Okay, so pretty much the same type of rhythm, same type of sound, etc., all the way through. I'm going to pause this now, and I'm going to show you, let's, let me scroll back here, and show you and let you hear what it actually sounds like, okay? So, for without, for with, for without, for with, okay? Okay. So as you can see, not only was there a marked difference on the graph itself within the software, but also you can hear the difference. There's a lot more distortion because of that huge airflow going into the microphone without the pop filter versus with it. Okay. So anyway, um, that's my tip for tonight. I hope that's helpful to you in, in your business and the things you're trying to do for yourself and your clients. And um, I guess the only thing I've got to do now is find a way to actually hold it in front of my uh, my mouth without actually you know holding it in my hand. So that's just another project I'm gonna have to do. In any case, um, have fun, uh, cheers, and the best of success to you. I'll talk to you later.